Hey everyone, this is Dr. Rawls. What is the difference between fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome? And then beyond that, we've got all kinds of other disorders that are similarly related to those. It gets pretty confusing. When you look at those two entities and the symptom profile that people report that identify with fibromyalgia and identify with chronic fatigue, they're almost identical. The biggest difference between fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue is that people with fibromyalgia identify more with pain. They have more muscle pain, joint pain. Uh, they feel like uh, they, they've been in a wrestling match or thrown off of a horse. Whereas chronic fatigue, they identify more with this just oppressive fatigue, this lack of energy like the vital energy of your being has been drained from your body. But otherwise, the symptoms are very, very much alike, and there's a lot of overlap. And uh, it, 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 it's, um, so as far as a formal medical definition, they're both considered disorders. Disorders are not considered true diseases according to the medical establishment. Uh, they are conditions for which we don't know the cause and therefore we don't have a treatment and we can only treat symptoms. Me, I interpret that as saying we don't have a test that can define a process that our drugs will work for. But anything that happens in, any, in, in the universe is the result of cause, including fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue. And I think because their symptoms are so related that they probably have common causes. So when we look at those two entities uh, and look for causes, we find that a commonality is disruption of the communication systems of the body, neurotransmitters of the body, hormones of the body, and the messaging systems of the immune system called cytokines. But it's a little bit different. There are no absolute distinct patterns. So in a way, every person with fibromyalgia is different from every other person with fibromyalgia, and the same is true with chronic fatigue. So everybody has a slightly individual presentation of that thing. I think the immune system disruption is related to things that are happening in our world that have become so common in the past hundred years. Um, the, the food that we eat, these artificial grain-based products uh, are a driving force, this oppressive stress that every one of us live with, and a lifestyle of not being active in a normal way, but sitting behind a desk. And then there's just the insidious toxins that we're all exposed to. Those things affect our immune system, which is allows things in our microbiome to flourish. Our microbiome is the total makeup of microbes in our body. We now know that there are 20 to 40,000 species, and we have microbes not only in our gut and on our skin, but throughout our tissues in very, very low concentrations. Some of these microbes are called stealth microbes. That can be bacteria, viruses, protozoa, there are many. Now the characteristic of a stealth microbe is it lives inside cells and, and it can live in white, white blood cells which allows it to manipulate the immune system's uh, messaging systems. It's kind of like if criminals hijacked a police car, they could call central dispatch and have all the rest of the police force sent all in the wrong directions. Well, that's kind of what stealth microbes can do. And, and so you've got microbes that are very different, but share those same characteristics. But they all do it just a little bit differently. So I think in chronic fatigue, you're, you're more apt to see certain kinds of microbes. Uh, you know, everybody with, with chronic fatigue typically has reactivation of Epstein-Barr virus. But that's not the only virus. There's a spectrum of viruses that can occur. Um, I think a microbe called mycoplasma is very common. Whereas with fibromyalgia, we might see a slightly different uh, selection. And, and, and I'm almost like to, think, like to think of it as a cock. Everybody has a unique cocktail of microbes. 
So you disrupt the immune system and end up with chronic immune dysfunction and allow these things to flourish in the background. And if you happen to have the wrong kinds of microbes and they start to flourish, that's what causes all these systemic symptoms, this disruption of communication. So nothing is working in the body. Everything becomes inflamed. And certain kinds of uh, prevalence of certain kinds of microbes, more viruses, may cause that more of that oppressive fatigue, where other kinds are going to cause that oppressive uh, uh, pain, that, 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 that muscle and joint and just whole body discomfort that's more common with what we would identify as fibromyalgia. So that, in my search, my personal struggle with, with these kinds of situations and, and learning about these things over the years, that's how I see these, these disorders and how I see them as being a little bit different. Um, fortunately, though, some of the solutions are the same. Uh, you, of course, have to clean up your diet and do the things that, you, that, that were disrupting your immune system in the first place. But herbs are really a fantastic solution because they are suppressing these kinds of microbes and restoring normal communications and reducing inflammation. So, uh, so I see herbs as really an ideal option to address these kinds of problems. So if you'd like to know more, please go take a look at my website, rawlsmd.com. I've taken a lot of time to put a lot of information that can help people on the website. We've created programs, uh, and, 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 and it's all designed to help people on that pathway back to wellness. Uh, while you're there, please sign up for the newsletter because I'm constantly researching new topics or learning about new stealth microbes or new herbs that might come along that, that, that help out. So, uh, so all of these things are designed to help you get back on that pathway back to wellness. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And while you're at it, please take the time to leave me a comment. I would really like to know of any questions that you might want answered in future videos. Thanks for watching.